What's up, y'all? It's Toast. Today, we're back on some Modern Warfare 3. But before that, the Haunting Season 6 launch trailer dropped for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. And, you know, they've done the Haunting, what, like two other times already? For like the past three to two years, I think. And it's pretty cool. Honestly, even though like the games have been sucking, the Haunting, like the cosmetics and the event is pretty cool, dude. Like the last one they had with the zombies. But when it comes to spooky season, Call of Duty knows what to do. Let's get into it. Back on War Zone. That looked like Rebirth. Call of Duty presents. Oh! 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 The entire team's gone dark. Not actually. Well, get up. There may still be survivors. Let's move. Oh, look at Rebirth! This looks cool, man. Pump cams are up. Oh, look at that. Frost here. Movement. Wait, what was that? I'm going back. No. Rocket coming. Enemy movement. Also spotted. Oh, they're bringing back zombies? Okay, okay. He took his head off. Oh, through trick or treat. Smile. Everyone, fall back. Repeat, fall back. Terrifier, no way. Oh, no way. No, look at all these skins. That was sick! Oh my god, that was so nice! Ah! Dude, I just smudged my glasses. Oh, that was so good. What a trailer. I'm telling you, man, like the game might not be like amazing, but for Halloween season, they know what to add. So first was Michael Myers. Dude, sh strong as hell. Michael Myers looks sick in it. He he freaking decapitated that dude's head. And oh, and I love that they added the like actually like call of duty operators into it like it wasn't just random people like it was operators that you can play as that were in that trailer getting killed so yeah he freaking decapitated the dude and then he was holding his head the whole time and then even at the end it, it was him like holding the head and showing the girl that was sick how am i driving and holding the the, the gun look at this <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I have like four hands. Dude, the cinematic itself was freaking sick. Like, like it was a whole story to it. Imagine if it was canon, like actually just part of Call of Duty. So I was looking back at the at the actual trailer and going like like frame by frame, I saw what the the skin that jumped out the water that killed Rocket. Uh, it was actually a Modern Warfare 3 skin. It was like, it's the one with the open mouth. But yeah, I thought that was a, a cool little thing. They showed off fire shipment. It looked like the shipment from Vanguard. Or not even Vanguard, just like, it, not, not the one that we have right now. Because the shipment we have is, is actually on a ship. But uh, the one in the trailer, it looked like it was like, like just on a field or something. And then the freaking three-headed ghost. <laughs> I showed my girlfriend the trailer and she said ghosts look like the Wither from Minecraft. Imagine that's in the Minecraft movie. But yeah, freaking Wither Ghost just charging at you. I wonder if that skin is, I wonder if that's going to be a skin or just like a game mode. Because it looked like it was, it was in that top room in Rebirth. So I'm wondering if Rebirth, like the haunting Rebirth is going to just have a three-headed ghost that you can kill. Like what if he's just a boss or like an AI. And then some of the skins was the trick or treat kid with the, with the pumpkin lollipop. That was cool. But what caught me off guard, the, the smile dude, I, f I think he was just a side character in the, in the movie. I'm not sure where he's from. I don't know if it's like a, a character from the movie or just a character they made, but he had the freaking smile curse from the movie. That movie is trippy. If you haven't seen that movie, you should definitely see that horror movie. And dude, the best part of the whole trailer, 
Terrifier. I can't believe they added Terrifier. I, I, I already, I already, I already talked to my girlfriend, and she's gonna buy Michael Myers, and I'm gonna buy to the Terrifier, cause that's just you can't lie. I think that, I think that might be the coolest skin in the whole trailer. I wonder if all these characters are gonna have their own finisher. I hope, dude. They are kind of going all out, man. I, I wonder if they're gonna. If they're gonna include those skins in Black Ops 6, because I, I don't know if I'm tripping. I don't know if I saw that bowling alley map in, from Black Ops 6 in the trailer. So it got me thinking is that gonna be like, a, are these gonna be skins in Black Ops skin? Or <laughs> Black Ops skin? In Black Ops 6! I'm gonna get a no scope right now, just for you guys. And then the ending was just Cerberus Ghost, dude, with three heads. It looks huge. I don't think it's gonna be a skin. I think, I think. I think it's gonna just he's gonna be like an AI that's just on rebirth. Not AI, is it AI? <laughs> but yeah, that was the whole trailer. It honestly looks freaking sick. Like it's gonna be a fun time. Probably won't fix the game though. But what I'm really missing, man, is Black Ops 6. I I, I don't know. I, I started playing Modern Warfare 3 again and I was just playing some games and I was like, it's not the same. I love Modern Warfare 3 and all, but I'm trying to play Black Ops 6 more. I just hope they like they're actually attentive to the game. Oh, told you I was gonna get it. Like my favorite era of Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2019, and one of the main factors of that is because of how much they actually updated their game. Like if you guys remember, Modern Warfare 2019 had updates like, uh, like every every other Tuesday or every Tuesday there was an update. There's some bug fixes or just adding like a mechanic or something. And that was the best part of Modern Warfare 2019. Like the gameplay wise, a lot of camping. But they listened to the community, you know? Like if a, there was a bunch of nerfs and stuff that needed to happen. I mean 725 took a while. But I mean still, they they were attentive to their game. Oh, high rise. How much I love and adore you. Oh, that killed him? Yeah, random Claymore. Thank you. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I've been thinking so much. I want to play Ghost of Tsushima so bad. I don't have a PlayStation 5, man. Like, I'm seriously debating to find a way to get one because I want to play Ghost of Tsushima so bad. The only other way I could play it is on Windows. I don't know, man. I don't know. A lot to think of, but that is definitely on my to-do list, bro. I want to play that game so bad, especially with part two coming out. I will find a way. But yeah, I definitely want to get into more different type of games. Like, I honestly, I think I was going to keep it as a surprise, but I'm like really contemplating is Elden Ring, dude. I'm really thinking about starting Elden Ring. I feel like I can do a little playthrough of that while I mix in COD. I've been missing a whole point of the gaming aspect of stuff, you know, and I, I, I genuinely, I should try new games. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Yeah! <laughs> I kept targeting him. That was awesome. I miss Black Ops 6. That movement, too. It was so smooth. Honestly, I feel like my aim got a little better because of Black Ops 6. Like, I, I really like how it feels. It just feels naff. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Modern Warfare 3 video as much as I did. If you want to see more Call of Duty content, please make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see all types of content, make sure you check out the channel. I love and appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for all the support and love. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.